combine readers are leaders murray's readers are leaders if you read you're a leader you, you know things that other people don't know here i am in southern florida hollywood florida to be exact sunny outside um here to give you my third author who writes mysteries. I read two of her books last year. Her name is Nancy Scopin, and she writes the Nikki Hunter mystery series. There's nine books in the series. I read two books. I've got another one on my list that I'll get to in a month or so. Uh, her her books are fast paced, well written. Uh, we got Nikki. Nikki Hunter is the protagonist. She's a PI. Uh, she just happens to have a, a, a homicide detective is her bow on and off bow. Uh, I mentioned, uh, I think in the last uh, with six pockets, uh, that protagonist had a detective. <laughs> it's interesting how those things go. But uh, these books are, like I said, fast paced well-written, um, compelling. They're easy to read. Uh, <clears throat> also, woven into this for you dog lovers, there's a dog. Buddy is his name. Uh, Bill is the detective's name. She's got a, a couple of friends in the, in the San Francisco Bay Marina that she's in that help her out. She's got some wealthy friends that help her out. In any case, in this one book that I read is uh, Dinner and a Murder. What happens there, Nikki gets is, is in a difficult position. She's got, trying to decide whether she's going to go on with Bill and all kinds of things going on in her mind. So to get out of it, she goes to her high school reunion to relax. And there she meets somebody that she knew as a, an old flame. And the old flame is uh, asked her to go to dinner. And she says, well, I'll, I'll go to dinner with you. He says, I, I've got something very important to talk to you about. Oh, wait a minute, something important. Well, it turns out that he is a traf traffic controller at the airport. And in his duty, he's a supervisor. And he's a, of a number of people. And... People are dying. Three have died in the last six months of various things. Uh, he thinks it's murder. She talks to him at dinner, and the police say, no, it can't be murder. Uh, we, we can't figure out, but it's, you know, circumstance or whatever. Uh, and in any case, she takes on the case. And well, what happens? She gets involved with somebody that is doing a serial killing. And the ending is, is surprising in all of her books. Uh, and this one turns out to be closely to be deadly. And in the other book that I read of hers was um, uh, Murder a la Carte. This is interesting. A boy shows up at her office. His mother is dead, homicide. The police can't figure out what's going on. Her homicide detective friend is having problems with it. And it turns out that the mother wasn't such a nice person. And there's a serial killer, another serial killer, going around killing pedophiles, people that do sex, uh, have sexual problems. And he's gone, this person's going around killing these people. And her characters are very interwoven into the story. She gives you the reasons why they do things which Sometimes we, we can't figure out what people are going to do, but she does. And there's a lot of twists and turns in this one. Uh, okay. And it's believable. 
the way that she conducts her writing is believable. Uh, I li- I really like the this one better than the other one. However, I'll let you decide. Get the books. They're mentioned down in my description down there. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe, hit the bell, like the video. Thank you very much. Have a good day.